Welcome to the Oracle Policy Automation Tutorial Understanding the Oracle Policy Automation Hub. In this introduction, I will describe how the hub fits into the architecture with Oracle Policy Modeling and the Oracle Policy Automation Cloud Service, followed by a brief description of the hub user roles and lastly, a quick tour of the Oracle Policy Automation Hub user interface. As you can see in the diagram, the Oracle Policy Automation Hub is a part of the Oracle Policy Automation Cloud Service, providing an interface between the Cloud Service and Oracle Policy Modeling. The Hub provides an interface for both direct interaction with instances of Oracle Policy Modeling and a web-based user interface for functions related to project and user administration within the Cloud Service. The Hub's main functionality includes project versioning and deployment of policy models and general user management. The Cloud Service utilizes roles to determine the level of a user's access to the Hub. The Project Author role creates and edits policy models. The Project Administrator role manages the deployment of policy models to the Hub. And the Hub Administrator role manages all users and their permissions on the Hub. Depending on their responsibilities within the organization and the size of the team, a new user can have one or more of these roles associated with their account. For example, in a test environment it is quite common for the project author to also be the project administrator. It's now time to take a quick tour of the hub, so let's go to the login screen. When you first navigate to the Oracle Policy Automation Hub either directly via its URL or from the Oracle Policy Modeling application, the login screen requires that you enter a valid username and password. The Change Language drop-down list is where you can select the language in which you wish to view the Hub interface for the duration of the session. By default, the Hub is displayed in American English, and if you do change the language, upon logging out it will revert to the default language. Now, let's log in as an administrator and see how we manage user accounts. On logging into the Hub for the first time, we are presented with the Projects tab and an Empty All Projects view. Along the top portion of this view, you will see the Projects tab and the Administration tab. Next, there is the Logged In Users drop-down menu, the Log Off command, and finally, the Help command for accessing the online Oracle Policy Automation Cloud Service User Guide. To get started, we will go to the Administration tab view. The Administration tab is accessible only to users with the Hub Administrator role. The Users sub-tab view lists all users that have been defined to the Hub. The list shows the user's name, contact email, status, enabled or disabled, and their roles on the Hub. A new Hub will contain, by default, just one enabled user with the name Admin. Any user account with no assigned role is considered disabled and can be hidden from the list using the Hide Disabled option. To edit a user's details, we click on the Edit link to the left of the user's name. The Edit User sub-tab view is where you can disable or enable a user, reset a user's password, update name and email details, and select the applicable user roles. Let's now take a look at the Add User sub-tab view. The Add User sub-tab view is where new users are defined to the hub. Each user is given a unique username, and optionally, the user's full name and contact email address are collected. It is at this point that the user is assigned a role on the hub which can be any one or a combination of project author, project administrator, and hub administrator. On clicking submit, the new user is created and a temporary password generated. The user will be asked to reset their password on first logging into the hub. The hub administrator is also responsible for maintaining the hub password policies, so let's go to the password policies sub-tab view to take a look. The password policies sub-tab view is where the hub administrator can change or override any or all of the default password policy values. The next thing to concern the hub administrator is the data service. The data service sub-tab view is divided into two sections, the first being the data service log which shows the number of messages logged. Clicking on the show message log link is a shortcut to the message log sub-tab view. The data service details section displays the name, current status, type of data service, the SOAP URL of the web service corresponding to the RightNow instance, and the user's name used to connect to RightNow. The new password field is where you enter the RightNow password for the user OPA client used to access the RightNow data service. It is also possible to generate a new shared secret or view the existing shared secret which is used to establish the link between the customer portal widget and Oracle Policy Automation web determinations. 
Finally, let's take a look at the Message Log subtab view. The Message Log displays a list of up to 1,000 errors related to the data service connection. And with that, we have covered the Hub Administrator functions. In order to see how projects are managed, let's log out and log back in as a project administrator. We are presented with a screen informing us that we have been logged out of the Hub. In order to return to the Login screen, we click on the Return to the Hub link. To see how we manage projects uploaded from Oracle Policy Modeling on the Oracle Policy Automation Hub, we will now log into the Hub containing a single uploaded Oracle Policy Modeling project as a project administrator. Enter a valid username and password and click on the Login button. Upon logging into the Hub, we are presented with the Projects tab's All Projects view, which, as you can see, contains a single uploaded project. Clicking on the Projects tab presents a drop-down list of all projects available on the Hub. Selecting one will change the view from All Projects to the selected project. We will now take a look at how the All Projects view is organized. The All Projects view is divided into three sections. Oracle Policy Automation Hub, which provides a brief description of the Hub and a link to download the Oracle Policy Modeling application. Data Service, which displays the results of the Data Service test. And lastly, All Projects, which contains a list of all projects that have been uploaded to this instance of the Oracle Policy Automation Hub. The list of projects displays the name of each project, the number of versions uploaded, the deployment target, which can be interview, web service or both, and the date of the most recent deployment. If there is no deployment date appearing, the project is not currently deployed on the Hub. Let's click on the project to see what actions we can perform against it. When you view an individual project, you are first presented with the Summary Subtab view. This view provides you with information relating to the deployment of the project, the currently deployed snapshot or version, and the latest snapshot to have been uploaded to the Hub. As a project administrator, you will be able to delete the project, start an interview, and download the latest snapshot. If you are a project author, you will only be able to start the interview or download the latest snapshot. To learn a little more about snapshots, let's go to the Snapshots subtab view. A snapshot, or version, is a view of a project at a particular point in time during its authoring. The Snapshot subtab view displays a list of all snapshots of the project to have been uploaded to the Hub. It displays any comments added by the author relating to the uploaded version, as well as information relating to when it was uploaded and whether the interview and web service have been deployed. As a project administrator, you can deploy or undeploy, download and delete project snapshots. As a project author, you only have the ability to download. Now, let's take a look at the Deployment History subtab view. The Deployment History subtab view displays a listed history of all occasions on which each snapshot has been deployed or undeployed. As a project administrator, you can deploy, undeploy, or download any instance of a project snapshot. As a project author, you only have the ability to download. And that concludes our tour of the Hub interface as it would be seen by a project administrator or project author. It's now time to end our tour, so let's log off. And so we have come to the end of this Introduction to Understanding the Oracle Policy Automation Hub tutorial. You should now have a basic understanding of the three main user roles, the Project Author, Project Administrator and Hub Administrator, as well as the way in which these users view and interact with the Hub interface. We invite you to learn more about Oracle Policy Automation and stay connected with our active communities. Please take a moment to study this slide so that you will know where to find us whenever you need us.